everyone and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. When the mod launched in 1936, few people then would expect that this original and real Mamod model selling business would still be manufacturing and selling epic steam locomotives some 75 years later. The original Mamod business has overcome many setbacks and today at its manufacturing and engineering site in the West Midlands in Birmingham, Mamod is manufacturing gas-fired locos, rolling stock to go with them, as well as model steam mobiles, stationery and kits. A dream for father and son, or in my case, grandfather and grandson. In its unique way, Mamod is interwoven with the history of the West Midlands, and like the models it makes, it's a microcosm of Birmingham, the black country. Mr. Terry, the director, understands what manufacturing means to the region and ensures that most of the parts that are used in the manufacture of Mamod models are supplied from firms in the Birmingham area. How did that name, Mamod, originate? The founder of the firm was Geoffrey Malins, who took the first two letters of his surname and the first three letters from the word model. So some 30 years ago, my grandfather purchased this model steam tractor. And today we're gonna to fire it back up and we're gonna have a bit of fun playing with it around the garden. I learnt very quickly that it has a firebox that can be somewhat dangerous. <laughs> so lighting this indoors was clearly a bit of a mistake. Don't make the same mistake as me. Do this safely. Do it outside, somewhere where the fumes won't get to you and somewhere where you won't accidentally burn your house down. But either which way, the principles are the same. What you've got to do is oil everything up nicely and make sure everything's well lubricated before and both after you've fired up the boiler. Make sure that you fill the tank full of water and then use a couple of these solid fuel tablets. Set fire to them with a lighter and pop them into the burning chamber underneath the boiler tank. After a few minutes, the steam will get up to pressure in the boiler tank. Effectively, this model is just like a real steam engine. It's absolutely marvelous to have a play with. Clearly, you need to be careful as it is real fire. Anyway, I found that after one or two minutes of flames underneath the boiler, we were able to get this steam engine running. It is a little bit messy. It does spit out a little bit of the oil that you've used to lubricate it, but for a steam engine, it's quite clean. And it's just such good fun. And that's the key thing here, is the fun that you have with this. It's absolutely fantastic. Clearly, in my lab, I had taken precautions. I got a fire extinguisher close to hand. I also had a wet towel there. But the flames do get quite tall on those solid fuel tablets. So, uh, probably best to do this outside. So let's pop it outside and let's fire up that boiler again and as you can see <laughs> she really gets some speed on and it's quite good fun to play with. The model runs for about 10 or 15 minutes on a one full tank of water and two solid fuel tablets. It can really get on quite a lick of speed and it can be quite difficult to keep up with sometimes. I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you might consider the possibility 
of getting your hands on one of these and having a play around in the back garden with your son or your daughter and showing them what real engineering is all about. As always, thanks ever so much for watching Dubious Engineering. Take care, have a wonderful week and weekend. Please give us a good old thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, bye for now.